Previously on Hey Neighbor, we went over Kima Master Hair, Bobby Boss Bay Locks, Kiss Foundation, The Details Brush, and we had special guests such as Jess the Dragoness, Shaquita Lee, and Chanel Renee. Hey, hey neighbor! Thank you so much for tuning in to episode three of Hey Neighbor, <laughs> your only salon talk show out there, okay? We are yep. changing the game, girl. Hello. And I am your neighbor, Nichelle J. And I'm your neighbor, Royal Beauty. Hey, girl. Hey. So you guys remember in that last episode, and at the end, we got a very special package. Mm -hmm. What was in the box, girl? Girl, I'm going to tell you. Okay. So this wig that I'm wearing right here Ooh. is from Bobby Boss. Okay. They actually sent us this wig, and it is so cute. It's actually inspired by the Yara collection, mm -hmm. so I was definitely on the band for that because mm -hmm. I love all of the Yara uh, collection wigs, but this one has some curls instead of the nice little blunt cut that I usually wear. Yes, yeah. I love it. And what's the name of this wig? So this I can one take is it Nikita. Okay. Nikita. Nikita. I yes, she has this pink ombre, and if you guys want a review, make sure you comment down below so that I can do that for you. Okay, well, yeah. Miss Nikita, because that's what I'm going to call you. Definitely giving me she Nikita vibes right now. Miss Nikita, <laughs> yes. let me tell you what we have in store today. We All have right. so much information for you guys. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about the Ozone Wig by A+. Um, I actually have the wig on now because I, I was inspired by you. Yeah. I checked out your YouTube channel and you did a review. Uh -huh. So I hit up Nicole. Nicole is our in-house oh, she is everything. So plug. Okay. Yes. So I hit up Nicole and I was like, girl, I need one of those wigs. So she hooked me up. Yes, and that's and what you got on? That's what I have on right now. It looks really good. I absolutely love I it. I love the color. Yeah, like yes. I feel like I can go out and get a boyfriend no. after this. Oh, so. yeah. For sure. <laughs> so, I'm also really excited because we're going to be talking about the Brazilian keratin treatment. Right. And I don't know a lot about it. I have yeah. a lot of questions, so I'm really yeah. interested in learning yeah, when it comes too, to me that too. segment. Yeah. And then we're going to be talking about flat irons. Mm -hmm. How to spot a good flat iron versus a cheap one. Okay. So that should be really oh, interesting that is, because that's I didn't know much about that. You no, know, it's okay. very important. So Definitely. super, super yeah. excited. And you know I live for a good beat, girl. Uh -huh. So we're gonna be talking about contour. Yes. How to get that face laid okay. and ready for a night I out. I got some tips for you. Okay, so we are super excited. And Me speaking too. about slaying your look, uh -huh. let's get into the hail or fail of the week. I'm ready, let's do it. Now, if you guys don't know about what the hail or fail is, yep. we're gonna give you three looks every week, okay? Yes. Now, if you love the look, it's a hail, and mm -hmm. if you hate it, it's, it's a, a fail. fail, okay? Yes. So let's get into I'm it. I'm ready, let's do it. So the first look, is so witty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make sure you say it right. Put some so respect on her name, okay? <laughs> and she is out on the streets at Amber Rose Slut Walk. Oh. What I are you like about it. this? I love this look. Yeah, okay. It's very simple. It's taking me back because okay. I know exactly how to create this look. Mm -hmm. This is a fun look. It's mm -hmm. easy. And it's long. It's very long. Okay. She's working it. Yes, That's I love hail. it. It's, it's a hail. It's, yes, it's look fun. At that. It's, you know, this is realness right here it black is. girl realness All like day. in the streets yes, innovative the styling and i love swing. it yeah love it. definitely okay tammy roman at the soul train awards hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> is that a hail or a fail it's a fail only because it's just not it's not I don't know if it's the outfit couple, the mm -hmm. makeup and the glasses. It's a lot going on. Yeah, and like you said in it's the a last uh, picture, it yeah. looks long, but it she looks, looks long, really not the hair. Yeah, she looks long. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not yes, really feeling that. not working. But you know, I do love her bonnet chronicles. We do. Yeah, we, we love, love your bonnet chronicles, girl. But just this but isn't this ain't working. working boo. Mm -hmm. no. Okay, last look. Ariana Grande. Ariana. And this is just a simple IG post. Yes, what it's are you definitely thinking? a simple look. It just looks like her regular, just, you know, her face mm -hmm. every day, regular mm -hmm. everyday look. Mm -hmm. And it's simple. So we definitely want to give this a hail okay. because we're all about the natural. Exactly. I'm we definitely going like to give it, it a hail. Yeah. Um, me personally, I love when celebrities just take it back and it's yes. natural and you're just like chilling in your backyard. But I have to give it a hail because she doesn't have that ponytail in, girl. I knew and I am say it. sick of that ponytail. I wasn't gonna so say it. I am giving this a hail. <laughs> you too. So sure. if you guys agree or disagree with us, make, make sure you leave comment. a comment. We yes. want to know what you think. If you Please felt something do. was a hail or if you felt something was right. a fail, definitely let us know. But stay tuned for the next segment. Yes. You guys see all these goodies on the table? Mm -hmm. If you want to earn one, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Mm -hmm. And not only that, every 500 subscribers, we're going to do another giveaway. You know how we do. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, and thank you again for tuning into Hey Neighbor. Now, let's get into our first 
product. Mm -hmm. This is the Ozone Lace Front Wig, mm -hmm. and it's by A+. Plus. And I absolutely love it. I have it on my head right now. And I, I had to get good. it because Miss Royal Beauty, if you guys do not follow her YouTube channel, make sure you do. But <laughs> she actually reviewed this same exact wig that we have here today. The wig is fabulous, okay? I love the lace, which is why I had to call Nicole, like, Nicole, give me the wig, she please. And she gave me this <laughs> wonderful brown wig because I love browns and, and blondes good. and all these things. Yeah. And I've been getting so many compliments on it because it looks so natural. Yes. So tell me a little bit about your experience with the wig. All right, so I definitely love this wig. It's definitely one of my favorites, mm -hmm. my new favorites. It looks amazing on you, so Thank you have you. a different curl pattern. I do. This is the exact one that I reviewed. Right. And I loved, from when I opened the box, the fullness is yeah. what got me. Yeah. And you know, nowadays that is what we want. We want a full Yeah. Wig. And this texture not full. too. Yeah, if yeah. It's not full and it doesn't have that texture. Like it kind of turned off in the beginning, but mm -hmm. this was giving me body as soon as I opened it. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I love the feel of it, the flow of it. It's mm -hmm. definitely light. It is full but not heavy. Right. I love that. Right. And then it has this amazing Swiss lace. So I looked at the hairline next. And mm -hmm. as you can see the hairline is absolutely amazing. Right. Another another trendy thing is that we definitely want a natural hairline, mm -hmm. right? So it's giving you that by this natural uh, um What's the word I'm the looking for? The density gradual density increase. That's yeah, the word. I got gotcha. you. I'm looking I gotcha. for more of a gradual. <laughs> yes. Um, as far as the hairline goes, to create it to be to me more of a natural look because our natural hairlines are not thick around yeah. here. Yeah. And most of our wigs, especially synthetic ones, will give you this thick mm -hmm. hairline that you end up later on having to customize a little too much, and it could be a hit or miss. Yeah. And ruin the wig. Yeah. So the fact that this is already coming with a nice, beautiful hairline, yeah. it was amazing. Yeah. But underneath that hairline, as you can see, is this nice Swiss lace. Yes. And it's very breathable, very comfortable. It stretches amazingly, so that yeah. makes it lay. Yeah. We need it to lay. Yeah. So that was amazing as well. And you can see, I really paid attention in the front there as far as parting mm -hmm. and the way that it's laying down. Lots of parting space. Oh my gosh, yeah. the parting, Lots of parting space. space. But that's because they took their time with this wig and you can see that it's ventilated. Mm -hmm. There's strands ventilated all the way through there and they took their time to make it look very natural. So yeah. that is what makes this wig absolutely amazing. Yeah. For a synthetic wig, yeah. I was very shocked. It's on trends. It is. It's affordable. Very affordable. Breathable. Breathable. Easy to work with. The Swiss Definitely. lace is very easy to customize. Yes. Even though this week you can take it right out of the box and just put it on and you're you good could, to go. Right? I personally, like I said, I'm a little extra, so um, I like to customize a little bit more, which I to, did. And you know, sure. people have been like, Where's the lace? I know, it's coming right out of my head, <laughs> honey. <right>. So, <laughs> but let me good. not just tell you how fabulous this wig is myself. Yeah. Miss Royal Beauty, if you've not checked out her YouTube page, she'll tell you how fabulous it is. But yes. we have another beauty blogger that's going to uh -huh. be joining us, and she's going to tell you how amazing the wig is as yes. well. So definitely stay tuned if you want to see that. All right, so um, we've been talking about this ozone wig, mm -hmm. right? And another beauty blogger definitely reviewed it as well, did her own little thing, and mm -hmm. we want to talk to her today. She's also another Cosmo Biz Examiner. Okay. So just like last time, I want to introduce you to my girl. Okay. okay. So we have Miss Mary Kay Vella here. Hi. What's yes. going on, girl? Hey, girls. How are you guys? Good, girl, good. that unit is you looking You are looking good. fabulous. Wow. Thank you so much. What do you what do you call this right here that you have going on? You know what? I, it, it, I just can't even put a name on it. It's what just about, about what know. about peppermint patty? <laughs> like the sleigh that peppermint thing. patty. I like that. I could yeah. do peppermint <laughs> patty. Mix it with the chocolate, maybe mint yeah. chocolate chip. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what color did you originally get? You colored that? Now, originally the wig was a six thirteen. Okay. And what I loved about it was it was a true 613. Mm. Because sometimes with 613s, there's a lot of yellow and um, there's there's some undertones to it, but it was a true 613. So once I received it, I immediately thought color. So that's yeah, a of course. Perfect, of course. perfect color to do that on. So. So, so tell us a little bit about working with the wig and coloring it because it is synthetic. Right. So how was it working with the wig and then customizing the lace and things like that? Well, 
let me just start off by saying the wig was very easy to work with. It was really, really easy. Um, I didn't have to do any. I know that it's safe up to, I believe, 360 degrees. It's heat safe. Yeah. But I didn't use any heat for this style. Um, not even for the little swoop de doop I didn't do that. Um, so that was a big plus. I didn't have to do too much styling mm -hmm. uh, to it. And the lace is almost invisible. Right. I mean, it literally just blends into your those. skin tone. Yeah. The lace is amazing. The hairline is awesome. So okay. again, it was really, really, really easy. And, you know, I plopped it on and I was working with it and I'm like, oh man, even after I washed it, sometimes with synthetic fibers, it'll change the curl pattern once you right. dry. And I'm blowing it out, and these waves and curls are just like plopping right back. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, oh, that's man. A plus. Yeah. So it, it was amazing. And I just immediately thought, like, bobbish type of vibes. It was just yeah. giving me so. And what, and what do you feel about the density of the hair and how full it is? You know what? I, to be honest, I am a big hair girl. I love right. big hair. Yeah. The bigger, the better for me. Yeah. So. <laughs> It was a pleasant surprise. The density is very natural. Mm -hmm. um, it, and it's, I think that that kind of aids in how easy it is to work with. Yeah. Um, it's not thin because there's nothing worse than when the hair is too thin and you can see yeah. straight through it. We don't want to do that. So it was like a very happy medium mm -hmm. to where it wasn't, um, you know, even for girls like me who love big hair, it's enough. Yeah. And it's not it's not overly done but it is definitely enough hair to where it looks full and it looks more natural that way yeah. mm -hmm. so you know i gotta ask how did you color did you try the watercolor method you know what okay <laughs> <laughs> i did i mean sometimes i just you know i don't know i yeah. i did try the watercolor method and let me just preface this by saying when you are coloring synthetic fibers it's best to use a fabric color yeah. a rich yeah. yeah, with it being synthetic, but yeah. I kind of just wanted to see what would happen. So I used um, a green, it's an emerald green by Kiss, oh. um, and it's a semi permanent, so yeah. it wasn't you know all the way left field. But I did do the the hot water color method, and it was a complete fail. Oh my goodness! And I have that in my video, complete fail. But I kind of thought it may be only because it is a synthetic unit. Yeah. Uh -huh. So then I just applied the color right, right to on. it and it gave me this like minty greenish like so it turned out absolutely fabulous. The next time I do work with um, I am going to be working with this unit again. I am going to use the RIT dye so I can show the difference when you're working with synthetic okay. fibers as opposed to human hair. Yeah. You have to use different um, coloring methods for that. Yeah. yeah. Well, definitely awesome. going to tune in for that when you yes, do it, for awesome. sure. Awesome. And we'll definitely plug your information below. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us on Hey yes, Neighbor and good. showing us your fa fabulous customization of this ozone wig. Yes. And thank you again. Thank, thank you, you so girl. much. I really appreciate the invite, you guys, and congratulations on the show. It is awesome. I love what you guys are doing. Rooting for you. And thank you again for the opportunity to be here and chat with you. Thank Thanks, you. Girl. Bye, neighbor. Bye. Bye. <laughs> now royal yes girl you know i live for a good beat uh-huh but i have realized when i'm at home i can't really get that sharp contoured look like i see on some of like the really popular like Instagram models yeah. or you know YouTubers yeah. I can't really get that look okay and I've studied on YouTube University and I still <laughs> cannot figure it out wow. so can you give me a couple of tips because I know this is your area of expertise of course I love a good B2 mm -hmm. and actually contouring is my favorite part of the makeup game okay. because I can get a little chubby in the face sometimes and mm -hmm. I like to like chisel out my face. Oh, so I love that. Chisel point. out the yes, face. Yes, chisel out that. the face. Mm -hmm. um, highlight my little cheekbones and make sure they look nice and precise. Mm -hmm. um, that is what contouring is. Uh, this has been used for years, actually. Okay. But it became even more popular um, the past couple of years because of Kim K. Mm. And she started giving the behind the scenes. Right. And you started right, right, seeing right. her um, baking and all of that. Mm -hmm. So this is why everybody's so on it now. Yes. And it does take some time to learn for sure. But the first and main thing about contouring 
is you want to use a shade darker, two shades darker than your foundation. Why two shades darker? Because it helps you really create that dimension that you need. Gotcha. Um, it gives like a shadow. Okay. Right? Gotcha. So everything that you want to highlight, you're mm -hmm. going to use a concealer in. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see people use it underneath their eyes. Right. Like a nice little okay. triangle underneath their eyes. Mm -hmm. And that's what you use to highlight the areas of your face that you want to show more. Mm -hmm. um, so your highlight is going to go in areas like underneath your eyes. Um, and it also gives you that awake look. Okay. But you're going to use the contour to hide, mm -hmm. you know, your your flaws mm -hmm. per se, or the areas that you really want to chisel out. Like I said. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do, like I said, is you grab your found your foundation, or you can use a cream contour palette. They have those. Okay. Um, and you can also use powder. But if you have dry skin, you kind of want to stay away from the powders. Mm -hmm. Cream it moves a lot more. It's easier to like really blend out. So you kind of want to do that. Okay. Yeah. So I have a question in regards to the foundation. Well, I know that you said with the contour, you're going to do two shades darker. Right. What about with your concealer? Like, with your what concealer. Is, what's your rule of thumb question. for that? For your concealer, you want to use a uh, shade lighter. Okay. One shade lighter. Mm. You don't want to go overboard. It can give your face a little bit of a chalky look. Okay. But it depends. If mm -hmm. you're talking about somebody like Shaquita, mm -hmm. who really wants to give that beat look, she's yeah. probably going to pack it on a lot more, mm -hmm. use a really nice bright color. Yeah. But you'd only want to go a one shade lighter. And over time, of course, people kind of tailor it to their knees and you okay. know what works for you okay. and what look you want. Mm -hmm. You can change it up and gotcha. switch it up. But yeah, one shade lighter. Okay. Yeah. But you can go a little lighter if you want to. You can to, right? go a little lighter okay. if you want to. Yeah. But I think maybe. I'm just going to save that right. when I In become the beginning, like kind of take your time, right? Yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. And then they baby steps. And then once you get there and you know, okay, this works for me. I like that look. I mm -hmm. didn't like the way that made me look. You can kind of tailor it and go back and forth. Very cool. Yes. Well, thank you so much for the information. Welcome. Ladies and gents, if you guys are out there contouring, please cont please make sure that you comment, like, and then share. Yes. Tag your uh, pictures. Tag we want to pictures. see. And if you have any tricks right. that we may not know about, oh my definitely gosh, yes. create a video, tag us in it, and we may even repost you on the Hey Neighbor page. Hello. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm going to show you really quickly where to outline um, your contour. And you can definitely do your cheeks, right? You can also do underneath the jawline. That'll kind of give you a nice chiseled chin. You also go around your hairline as well. And then you can also do your nose. So when you want to do around your cheeks, you want to go underneath your jawline. So if my model here could give me a fish face, that would be great. Fish face. So that is a cheat way to make sure you're putting it in the right area. All right. And this, this just for the record, this shade is too dark for my model here, but we need this to demonstrate. So that's what we're doing. So right underneath her chin. And since this is not her chin, her, her, her cheek, right? But because this is cream, you don't want to use too much too soon. You can build it up definitely and you use a nice angled brush to go ahead in and blend this out. You can also use a stippling brush that helps to buff it out instead too. So you get a nice buffed look. You don't want it to be harsh. You don't want the line to be harsh. So you want to take your time with cream contour because a lot is too much and too little doesn't actually do what you want it to do. So the other places you can outline, like I said, are right underneath the chin here. And what this does is create a shadow, all right? You can also contour your nose. And with contouring your nose, you want to be, again, with cream contour, be very careful. A lot can give you a really crazy looking nose. You don't want to do that. So take your time. And what I like to do is go right in the middle area with a little, a little goes a long way, especially with cream contour. And to blend out your nose, you can use your finger, your pinky, whatever smaller or a really smaller brush because a big angle brush like this might be too much with trying to get into where your nose is. You can also contour around here where your hairline is. Again, all this is creating dimension on your face. So you do this in the areas that you want to hide. Now, this is cream contour. What I'm going to show you next is powder. You can use powders, but like I said, you don't want to use powder if you have dry skin. Dry skin and powder may be too much. <laughs> and we're going to use another shade. Again, this is not 
her shade, but we're going to give you a nice little demonstration. So you want to use a darker shade, two shades darker than your skin tone, than your foundation, actually. You're going to use your angled brush, and again, the same thing, fish face, please. And you're going to apply this right underneath this little area here. And again, this gives you dimension. Now it's too dark, as you can see, please. Make sure you try different foundations, different products. Make sure you try different shades to make sure you have your right shade because too much of this can give you a really crazy look very fast and you don't want that. But thank you so much to our model for being brave enough to let us do this knowing this is not her shade. Um, so yeah, you can use powder and as you can see, angled brush and you wanna push this up. Your contour goes up, highlight goes down. Now with a stippling brush, this isn't a stippling brush, you would buffer this. And since our model does not have any foundation on right now, you will not see the final look of this, but you kind of get the idea. And you would do this underneath her chin as well. And also up here. Now it's not a lot on there because I, I feel so bad. I'm making her look absolutely gorgeous with the wrong <laughs> shade right now but like I said another thing another tip is to try not to drag the contour too far down to your lip because then you just look like you have really dark like feature your face is just going to start getting dark in this area and that's not what you want so take your time be very gentle with it like I said this takes a lot of practice so once you get the hang of it, it is fun it's my definite favorite part of doing my makeup Stay tuned if you want to learn more about these goodies. What are you doing? I'm practicing for my Brazilian keratin hair treatment. Okay. Yes. So you're getting all your little feels I in. am. My stylist recommended it. And all she right. said that my natural hair will be laid and slayed. Well, she might be right. So girl. I was just practicing. She might but be right. I don't really know a lot about it. Okay. So do you know anything about it? Girl, you know I got you. Okay. So we're going to talk about the Brazilian keratin treatment today. And the product that we have here is Zeron. Okay. All right. But a little bit about the treatment itself. Mm -hmm. um, it is making its way back. It actually came out a while ago, mm -hmm. but it was a no-no because of the fact that it had this harmful chemical called formaldehyde in it. And you know, we definitely don't want to use that product because of the harmful uh, effects that it has on the body. But Brazilian keratin was definitely one um, that you would use to get the blowout look, get the perm look, instead of using the actual perm. Um, so. For a while, like I said, it has been gone, but it's making its way back with this new product here that is 100% vegan, does not have that harmful chemical, and we do have a specialist here who is going to tell mm. us about it. Yes, and she is uh, certified, Zeron certified, actually, to tell us about this product and um, to use the product as well. You have to be Zeron certified to use this product. Um, a little bit about our guest, Miss Joanna. Okay. She is 10 years in the game. She has mm. 10 years in the game. Okay. She's a wig specialist. All right. So she's she, a vet. Yes, mm -hmm. so she All is right. a vet, um, a wig specialist, and also trichology certified. And she's going to tell us a little bit more about this product today. So awesome. then you can get all your little tips and get your questions in before you get it done. Yes. All awesome. Right? I'm excited. Let's introduce her. So hi, Miss Joanna. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Thank you for coming in. Thank you for inviting me. Yes. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about Zeron. Yeah. Why Zeron? Why Zeron? Um, just like you got, you were explaining, mm -hmm. um, with the Brazilian keratin treatment, they have very harmful uh, chemical like right. formaldehyde, mm -hmm. which causes cancer um, right. for stylists especially. Um, whereas Zeron is a 100% uh, vegetarian, mm -hmm. made with all vegetables, no nice. chemicals whatsoever, so it doesn't harm anyone, yeah. um, no clients, no stylists. Um, and they actually have a state uh, certification that it is 100% oh, okay. um, non-chemical, yeah. all vegetable. So my concern about getting this treatment is I love having that blowout look, right. but I also love the versatility of being natural. So why would I do this over getting a perm? Right. So that's a really good question. Mm -hmm. um, Zeron does have a product uh, for semi-permanent, for the, especially those that want to keep their curls. Mm -hmm. um, so you can have the straight hair for anywhere like two to six months, depending mm -hmm. on how often you wash your hair. Interesting. Um, 
So yeah, your your curls will definitely come back, but nice. you can definitely enjoy that straight hair using no chemical whatsoever. That's awesome. awesome. And it doesn't damage the curl at nope, all? No, not at all. I mean, think about it. This is 100% vegetable. Mm -hmm. Yes. So no damage whatsoever. That's good. Awesome. Actually, there's a footage that I wanted to share with everyone and you okay. guys. Um, so let's go and check it out. Okay, okay. sounds awesome. good. Awesome. So I want to talk first about why a smoothing system. This is to offer your client as much versatility as possible. For stylists, it's semi-permanent, so this creates an ongoing return of your client, obviously. The smoothing system being semi-permanent means it'll last for two to four months. So the semi-permanent one is a smoother. It is not intended as a straightener. It's intended to wipe away the fight. So Rayleigh's is a semi-permanent smoother is meant to drop the curl pattern. What we really want is hair that's gonna have a natural flow. So, it's very straightforward. If it has a slight wave to it because you slept on it funny, that's fine, that's normal, that is natural. I want the hair to look like it was born that way. And then you can do whatever you want. So if I decided with my very naturally straight hair that I wanted it to be super Mulan smooth, I can flat iron it, I can make it happen that way. It's totally okay. But that gives me a starting point that's a lot easier than a fight. Does that make sense? All right, so frizz free, that's what we're searching for. It gives them styling flexibility. And for the stylist, it also gives you the chance to be able to offer a service without compromising your own health. So our scientists at Zarin, our R&D team, came up with Reform 2.0 first, which is a permanent straightener, and Rayalise, which is a semi-permanent smoother. So this is how we came up with this stuff. And it took a while because this is very unique technology, so much so that we hold the international patent on the technology. All we're doing is vegan protein. That's it. Absolutely no formaldehyde, absolutely no aldehydes, nothing that will produce formaldehyde upon creation or adding of heat, none of the above. Okay. It's pH balance. You don't have to use gloves or masks or venting systems. So what is Rayalise? This is a system done by a professional that relaxes and smooths hair, it tames frizzy hair, significantly reduces styling time by taking away the fight, it preserves natural movement, the hair, oddly, will accept a thermal curl afterwards. You can use it on all types of hair. You will discolor slightly someone who has extremely low melanin. So if they are platinum or they're gray, you will get a slight discoloration. And mostly, it's because you're cooking their proteins. <laughs> thank you, Joanna, so much for coming yes, in. And I am super excited to try this treatment myself. Mm -hmm. If you guys already have tried the treatment, definitely let us know in the comments. Share your photos, your videos, and you may even be seen on the Hey Neighbor t uh, TV show Instagram page. So thank you, and stay tuned for our next segment. So, Royal, I know that we just got done discussing the Brazilian keratin hair right. treatment. And I know that you need flat irons to accomplish this you look. Mm -hmm. Now, me, myself, I like to ball on a budget, oh, okay? No, so girl. I'll go into me the too. hair store and just grab some cheap flat irons. But I noticed mm -hmm. that cheap flat irons, they also create as much heat damage mm -hmm. as, and damage on my hair in general, right. just as well as like chemical products. Right. So how do I find the perfect flat iron? Okay, so just like you said, uh, Heat damage is definitely a major uh, part of getting your hair done. You want to make sure you don't have any heat damage. Yeah. And we do have to use flat irons, like you said. Mm -hmm. So when you're going to the store, you want to make sure that you kind of pay attention to a couple key things. Okay. One of the main things that you definitely need, us, especially us, because we use, um, we have weaves, we have extensions. Yeah. They're all different fibers. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that there's a heat dial on okay. there. So you have the dial that gives you the temperature, and you can change the temperature up and down. That makes sense. That's important. Because yeah, a lot sense. of our wigs say, you know, I've burned a wig heat or two. Up to, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> you want to make sure you have a heat dial. That's mm -hmm. number one. Um, but also, you want to check out the plates. Uh, they have ceramic, tourmaline, and titanium. Ceramic is good for keeping that heat. It's oh. good for holding in the heat. Um, and then titanium is really good for frizz. So the two together, if you can find something and you look at that, you definitely want to find that out. But you mm. do want to be careful because if it's cheap and it says ceramic, uh, you may or may not be really getting ceramic. It mm. might just be the surface that ends up peeling. It's not Ooh. good. You okay. don't want that. So it that. might just be like plated. It might just be kind of on the plate, not oh. really 
in the I'm plate. I'm not that cheap. You want, you know, yeah, no. I'm, I'm gold. I'm yeah. not gold plated. So people you know? kind of see the, <laughs> they see the fancy names yeah. mm -hmm. and they think like, oh, it's ceramic. So yeah, but if it's cheaper, you might not be getting what you are paying for mm -hmm. um, or vice versa. So you definitely want to look at those things. But um, to avoid heat damage altogether, it all comes down to maintaining that heat. That heat must stay the same all the way through mm -hmm. from when you first clamp down, down to the end. So mm -hmm. we have some uh, props here. We have two flat irons that we're going to try out, and I'm going to give you an example okay. of what you are looking for. Um, and if you wanted to do this at home, definitely be careful. Uh, it's very dangerous, so I wouldn't recommend you like you know playing around. Definitely take your time because it can get hot. Okay. But if you have a thermometer, we have a thermometer here. Okay. Right. And you're going to take. Well, let's just test it first of all. If you start, you can kind of let the the heat register so you okay. know what the temperature is. Can you see it there? Mm -hmm. So you're going to start here by placing the flat iron on there so that the heat can register okay. for a little bit. And then once the heat is there, okay, I see. All right. You want to go ahead and slide down your thermometer and the temperature should stay, stay the same. Okay. If it is not staying the same, that is not a good flat iron. Mm, That's not what you want. Okay, very All right? interesting. Because okay. when you're doing your hair, when you're a uh, flat iron especially, mm -hmm. if it's not keeping that heat all the way through, keeping the same temperature all the way through, mm -hmm. you'll have pockets where it's not the consistent heat, mm -hmm. it can cause a damage. Those pockets get the damage. Yeah, and then so you have to go over it a couple of times. You have to go times. over it a couple of times, yeah. adding even more damage. I get it, you're yeah. You're not really doing what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Your goal is to be able to get it flat with one or two swipes, you know? Yeah. So that's very, very important. Mm -hmm. But even more so important, when you're doing your flat iron on your Brazilian uh, treatment, your yeah. Brazilian keratin treatment, your hair mm -hmm. will be damp. And also when we do our hair at home, we use a heat protectant. Yes. I hope you're using yes. heat protectant. I, I definitely use a heat right? protectant. And mm -hmm. your hair is going to be damp. Mm -hmm. So we have a damp towel here, Okay. right? And that's the same thing if we use it on the thermometer here. Can you help me out? Okay. My jacket's Don't being, burn me. My jacket's being funny, y'all. I tried to be cute, but my jacket won't okay. let me be great. There you go. You're Thank great. You. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be cute. All right. So with the same technique that I just showed you, you want it to stay. And please be careful, y'all, because I'm already over here trying not to burn myself. But same thing. Mm -hmm. This is a damp towel. Mm -hmm. Think of your hair being damp, and you're putting the flat iron to it. And it's sliding all the way through. Okay, I hear the sizzle. Hear that sizzle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sizzle is hair is heat damage if you're not doing it correctly mm -hmm. and making sure that you're using a quality flat iron. Right. You get what you pay for, babe. Mm -hmm. So basically, these flat irons that are really, really good, they are going to be a little bit more pricey because a lot of mechanics, a lot of stuff goes in to make sure that it, it does what it's supposed to do. Okay. A lot more technology. Mm -hmm. It really is worth it though okay. and they last longer so you get a good quality flat iron it'll mm -hmm. last you longer right. your look will last longer mm -hmm. you get a cheap flat iron yeah so i'm going to right? ditch my old faithfuls <laughs> i'm gonna spend a little bit of money on yeah, my hair spend a ladies do the it's same worth it. it's worth it yes. and i learned so much thank you so much you're welcome and babe. again if trying this at home be very careful Please. and let us know what flat iron are you using at yes home. comment below thank you Stay tuned if you want to learn more about these goodies. Hey guys, so as you remember, last episode we kind of gave you guys a little bit of details about Bella Crown's flower powder and bentonite clay mask. So we are here in Clinton, Maryland at the infamous Bella Crown and we have wonderful guests here, Miss Lauren back here and Miss Joyce here. And then she wasn't a volunteer. We played rock, paper, scissors, and she lost. So she had to <laughs> wipe off her makeup and put on the clay mask. Oh, so we're going to give you guys a tutorial on how to use the mask and get honest opinions and reviews from our volunteers here today. So are you ladies ready? Yes. yes. All right. Let's get started. Today, Joyce is going to be doing the Red Rose Flower Powder Mask. My lovely co-host here who lost our bet. <laughs> She's gonna be doing the bentonite clay mask. And Lauren is doing something called the bentonite clay plus mask. And this has the bentonite clay as well as the peppermint flower powder mask. So are you ladies ready? Yes. All right, let's get to masking. <laughs> All right, girl, how you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling great. You're feeling great? Okay, so Thank you for, for losing on, well, you know, on, on purpose. 
I just got my masking. You have a hubby to go home to. Right. I don't. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> How are you feeling so far about the mask? So far, it, it, I love Benton and Clay. So this okay. consistency. And what about like the mixing? I saw you were kind of having a heart. Okay, so I used water. Mm -hmm. and I'm not used to using water with mm -hmm. my bentonite clay, so this is my first time. Okay. And it was like a little bit of a challenge. You definitely want to use a spatula versus um, a brush or anything like that. Mm -hmm. so you can really get it mixed well. Gotcha. Um, but other than that, the, I love the consistency, and so far it's going on nice. All right. Feels good. Awesome. Yeah. Lauren. Oh, she's. Oh, you're almost done, girl. Okay. <laughs> How you feeling? It smells good. Like this it. peppermint smells really good. Yeah, I like it. It's very smooth. Mm -hmm. I, I like to apply it with the brush. Okay. Um, vice versa than with my hand. Okay. Do you typically use your hand? I typically do use okay. my hand. Okay. Um, and do you feel like you're gonna start using the brush now yeah, that you? I think I'm gonna just yeah. I'm okay. Gonna start using the brush. And what um, do you like about using the brush versus your hand? Um, it's just less messy, I mm -hmm, guess, mm -hmm. and it just applies a lot easier. Yeah, because... and it seems like you have a nice even coat mm -hmm. going on, so you're yeah. really gonna get the full effect. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I like this. I like this. Mm -hmm. All right, Joyce. Oh, you Hi. look beautiful, girl. I beautiful. Love this. Smells so good. Yes. This is yeah, she's doing all over her oh, face. I didn't, I didn't wear no makeup. Uh, <laughs> and your and your skin underneath is already beautiful. Well, but you. I mean you must wake up like this, girl. I try. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Flawless. So what so what are you feeling about the clay mask so far? It reminds me of icing on a cake. Okay. <laughs> and you're the cake, right? I'm the cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It smells and, good. And it's have mixed. you done flower powder before? I have not. Mm, so what is your first impression of the flower powder mask? I like it. Mm -hmm. It's um, very smooth, very okay. creamy. And what do you think about the smell? You have red I rose. I love the smell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's all organic. It's and it's firming and moisturizing. Oh, I definitely yes. need that at my mm -hmm. age. Oh, we're not going to ask how old you are, girl. Please you look don't. young. You I look am. young. <laughs> I think you're 25. Okay. All right, ladies, how we feeling? Are we almost done? I think I'm good. Okay, look at this diva taking her time over here. Listen, I'm masking. Let me take my time. Okay, guys, so we will be back. We're going to let these kind of soak in a little bit, and then we're going to come back, come back, let them wash their faces, and have them give their honest opinion about what they thought about the mask. So, Joyce. You tried the red rose flower powder, and you said that it was your first time trying it. Mm -hmm. So what are you feeling after the mask? Um, like I'm vibrant. Mm, um, you are. <laughs> I, I don't have any um, moisturizer on, but it still gives you that glowy feeling. Yes. And it's smooth. Okay, so not dry or anything. No, no. and it just peels right on off. Yeah, and your skin looks amazing. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any? Would you suggest this to a friend? I sure would. It is. Red Rose, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, Lauren. So you did the Bentonite Clay Mask Plus yes. with the Peppermint Red Rose Flower Powder. What are you feeling about this? I like it because my skin was like, it's really oily. Mm -hmm. So I always try to look for something that like, you know, remove the oils mm -hmm. and impurities, if that's what you want to call it. Mm -hmm. um, I like it. I would most definitely recommend. Okay. And was this your first time trying either one of these masks? Um, no, actually, I tried the clay powder. Okay, but you've never done the flower powder. I never powder. did the flower powder. Okay, no. and do you think that added to the experience? Um, yeah, I think the first time I tried it, I didn't kind of mix it right. It, it wasn't like the right consistency. Mm -hmm. So this time, I know, you know, I did everything right. This okay. Time, so yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. All right, hey girl, Hi. what's going on? Oh, so fresh face. You didn't start off this way, but it's all right. <laughs> it is okay. So right. you tried the bentonite clay mask, yes. and I know that you've tried this before, but I what have. was your experience with this today? This one was different, um, and this is my first time using water to mix it. Mm -hmm. um, so mixing it at first was a little bit of a struggle, but mm -hmm. once it got the nice consistency, I was able to put it on nice and smooth. Okay. Um, and you can definitely feel after taking it off, well, first of all, while it was on you felt it already hardening up and doing what it's supposed to do mm -hmm. drawing out those impurities so I was excited about that and the way it felt washed it off and now it's dry mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's used that's what you're gonna get it definitely has drawn out all of the oils and impurities so you want to make sure to use a moisturizer which yes. I'm getting ready to do yes and I like it though I like how it feels and I'm, I'm a fan of Ben tonight so this is awesome 
Awesome. Thank you ladies so much for volunteering with us today. And thank you for your honest reviews and opinions about this. Guys, you don't want to miss out on this mask. It's organic, it's natural, it smells amazing, it pulls out the impurities, and it's only found at Bella Crown here in Clinton, Maryland. So definitely check it out and come purchase yours today. Well, neighbors, thank you so much for tuning into episode three. Yes. And thank you for always coming back to support us over and over again, week after week. Yes. Thank you, Royal, for joining me again of and course. always teaching me new things like how to spot a cheap flat iron from an expensive one mm -hmm. and telling me I need to step my game up when it comes to a that. You know, I It'll do. I need off. to invest in myself when <laughs> it comes pay. to that. So I will. Thank you for teaching me about contour. Oh, yes, thank girl. you for our guest that came in to talk to us about the Brazilian treatment. Yes. Oh, I can't wait she to get amazing, that. Right? I can't wait to get that right, right. and all our other guests thank you for joining us mm -hmm. and thank you to all of our sponsors which will be listed below please make sure you like comment subscribe sure. share tag us in your uh, photos and your videos and you may even be seen on the hey neighbor tv show instagram mm -hmm. so make sure you join us next time for episode four which will be here sooner than you think yeah bye neighbors bye neighbors